guys, welcome, welcome back to, um, Ophelia's, you know, Ophelia the Pink Cat's YouTube channel. Hello, welcome back, guys. I'm here to make another new film today. And, yes, before we, um, you know, start in the video, start the film, um, I would like to read, you know, and I would like to read the Bible and explain something about, you know, about, about this, you know, about where we get, what we're going to be seeing in this film first. So, yeah, it's always important to read the Bible first before I, before we start the film, okay, guys? So yeah, and of course, I'll tell you, um, before I read the Bible, I'll tell you that this film is, you know, all about, um, LPS stealing is bad, or should I say LPS, um, do not steal. And that's what we're going to be, um, looking at this video right now. We're going to be, um, you know, um, learning about why stealing is not good, why stealing is bad. And I'm going to explain to you guys. Hopefully the Lord, the Lord my God will help me to help, help me to you know explain this stuff. All right. So yeah, bear with me. I'm gonna go grab my Bible so that way we can just um you know read the Bible. Let me go grab it. All right. All right, there it is. Um. All right. So um, let's see here. Um. So I'm gonna be um uh, reading in. So I'm going to be reading in uh, Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 5, uh, verse 19. So I'm going to repeat that again. I'm going to be reading in uh, Deuteronomy, uh, hopefully I pronounced that right, Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 5, verse uh, 19. And this, uh, this, chapter, this chapter is basically talking about um, one of the Ten Commandments, you know, that... Um, that um later that later when um, um Moses went up went up in the mountain um you know he was like in the mountain um doing I think it's I think it correctly says in the Bible that he was like um doing fasting for like thirty days and um or maybe sixty days I think if I'm not mistaken and um um God gave him um you know one of the ten commandments that were written in the stone and the the one of the commandments were actually written by God you know by his finger he writ he written down the commandments so that way um he can told he can, um, you know, can tell, you know, can told Moses to, um, you know, uh, to read out the Ten Commandments to, to his Israelites. So, yeah. And, of course, we have to follow the Ten Commandments as of, as of today's world. we got to follow the Ten Commandments. So, yeah. Now, without further ado, let's start reading. Let's pray first, though. In the name of the Holy Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. All right. Again, I'm going to be reading in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 19. That's what I'm going to be reading in. All right. Uh, so, in verse 19, it's, it's actually really short, by the way. So, let me just read it. Do not steal. And um, that's it. I'm just going to leave it up to here because that's actually the that's actually the most um, verse that we're going to be focusing on. So, yeah. Hopefully, you understand that. And, yes. Um, in verse 19, it says, do not steal. And, um... That is that is written in one of the Ten Commandments. You know the ten things that God doesn't want us to do as, as Christians. We don't, you know we gotta we gotta follow what is what is the good thing. So yeah, gotta follow the rules in the Ten Commandments. So I would like to say that um, you know stealing is bad, and I know that one of you guys you know one of you guys know that stealing is or is you know I know you guys know better that stealing is really bad. But um, have you ever been um maybe tempted? into like trying to like um maybe like trying to like own, like own something but like you know afraid of acts maybe or sometimes if you like you know are like in a store maybe you sometimes guys see something and um you know you get tempted into like maybe like grabbing it like without buying it of course maybe maybe you're like oh i want that thing oh i really want it so bad but then you realize you don't have like money in your car maybe like you don't have cash or or you just realize you don't have money in your card and um yeah sometimes um you know when we when we feel when 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 we like feel like we want to have like we wanna, okay sorry about that guys if you guys um really um feel that um you know like sometimes we feel like we want to have something that we own but then um you know we realize we don't have a much money you know enough money to buy it and don't you ever guys feel like, you know, you feel tempted into, like, getting something? Like, you want to you wanna have it in your collection so bad, but, you know, don't have money? 
Yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, we get tempted into, like, you know, what it, what's, what's it called, like, like, stealing. So, yeah, a lot of people, and actually a lot of kids, if you didn't know, kids can actually steal too, because, you know, they feel like, you know, their parents cannot get them what, what they, what they really want, and sometimes they might get tempted into, like, you know, grabbing that item and, and you know, stuck it in their pockets, you know, like, or, or something else, maybe like a, maybe like a bag or something like they have. And yeah, unfortunately, sometimes that can happen to us. We get tempted into like, you know, grabbing that item and like stick it in our pockets or whatever object that we stick it in. And sometimes that can happen, you know? And um, yeah, probably God will understand that. Maybe, maybe perhaps that you um, realize you've done a bad thing. Like if you, you know, realize that, that um, I didn't know that this was bad to do. Like, you know, like I didn't know it was bad to steal. And if you if you were to say that to God, um, well then yes, God will understand you. Trust me, friends. God will understand if um, God will really understand that maybe maybe you didn't know stealing was bad, and maybe God will forgive your sins. Don't worry about that. You just you just gotta first ask God for forgiveness, and then He'll forgive you. But the real truth is that what's really um you know bad about this is that if you already know that stealing is bad, if you already know what if you already know that stealing is bad. Well then, um, you know, you cannot expect God to forgive you if, um, you know, if you already know that sin, if you already know that stealing is a sin, you know. Um, I mean, God will forgive you, but he really expects you to not, you know, to not, to not do that again because you already, because you already know better. And of course, I know that stealing is bad too. And yeah. And guys, um, that's where we're going to be like, um, you know. That's what we're going to be showing in the film later on. So, yeah. Um, Alright, guys. Um, Yeah. Before I start the film, I would like to read, um, again, not, not in their tsunami, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be reading, a, like, a, like, a, another chapter that has another, um, definition of, of, of stealing and all that stuff. I'm going to be reading in that, too. So that way you guys can, you know, understand all better. You know, you guys can understand better. So let me just go ahead and, um, read that. Let me just turn the page. Okay, so I'm going to be reading in um, Corinthians um, chapter 6, verse 9 um, up to verse 10. So yeah, I'll repeat that again. Um, I'm going to be reading in um, Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 up to verse 10. That's what I'm going to be reading in. And this is another, um, you know, chapter of the Bible that mentions um, something about, you know, stealing. And, and it also mentions um, a lot of couple of things that we shouldn't be doing either, like you know, like having sex with something without permission, or yeah, something like that. Don't worry, you'll get you you you'll know when I read it. So yeah, again, we will read it. So it says in uh, Corinthians chapter six nine up to verse ten, and in verse nine it says, "Don't you know that evil people won't have a share in the blessings of God's kingdom? Don't fool yourselves." No one who is immoral, and um, by the way, immoral means um, you know, a person that sins a lot. You know, like a person likes to sin a lot, and that's what immoral immoral means. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, in in, in other words, so yeah, don't fool yourselves. No one who is immoral or worships idols or is unfaithful in marriage or is, or is a pervert or behaves like a homosexual will share in God's kingdom. Neither will any thief or greedy person or drunk person or anyone who cur who curses and cheats others. And yes, amen, that's it. Uh, by the way, guys, um, it looks like the film is, like, ending, unfortunately. So don't worry, um, just go to the next part. Like, go to part two so that way I can finish my, my um, you know, my introduction, okay, guys? So yeah, um, go to the, go to part two. Because I, I have a feeling that this film is about, is about to, like, end up to, like, 10 records. So yeah. Uh, see you in part two.